Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Credit Card video and I'll be talking about the devaluation happening to the MBN World Elite Reviewers MasterCard. The MBN World Elite Reviewers MasterCard is a very popular cashback or reviewers uh, credit card which gives you two points per dollar spent flat uh, without any categories or anything. So what it means that you'd earn 2% return on all purchases. However, this is going to change. Uh, there's going to be a brutal devaluation uh, coming to this card. And I'll talk about that. Uh, now, I was kind of expecting, or this is not surprising to me that this card is going to uh, be devalued because uh, since TD took over MBNA, credit cards, uh, everything has been uh, very bad. Before, uh, MBNA used to offer credit cards with uh, lots of points and rewards and more options, but TD started cutting them one by one. And uh, due to the fact that TD has already devalued its TD uh, cashback first class Visa Infinite card, so it is not surprising that you know TD is going to cut, uh, uh, reward, uh, devalue this card as well because since TT took over, things, uh, not, things are not going bad for uh, this credit card uh, or even all other MBNA uh, credit cards. So this is kind of, I, I was kind of expecting this, but uh, the terms and conditions of this devaluation is totally, uh, uh, you know, uh, out of uh, line because it's a heavy devaluation and I'm going to go through uh, these changes one by one now stay until the end of the video because I'll be giving you some uh, alternate options or some other your credit cards which gives you simple cashbacks and if you are looking to switch from MBNA World Elite MasterCard you can uh, look at these uh, cashback uh, reverse credit cards so uh, stay until the end so let's uh, go to the MBNA letter uh, which most of uh, MBNA World Elite MasterCard uh, customers receive I do not have uh, any MBNA World Elite uh, Reverse Credit Card, so I had to collect this letter from uh, someone else and I'll be talking about uh, these changes while we're looking at this letter. So let's uh, take a look at it and see what MBNA has to say. Hello everyone, this is the letter MBNA uh, Reverse uh, MasterCard account holders received from MBNA about the devaluation. Now, let me just uh, zoom in a little bit so I can show you exactly what are changing. Okay, so this should be good enough. So the first thing you can see that uh, the annual fee used to be $89 and now it is going to be $120. So that's a 35% increase. And this increase will apply to the annual fee pay after September 1st, 2018. So, uh, this is just one increase and then they're increasing the reverse structure which is going to be right here so let's take a look here as of february 1st to uh, 2019 your mbna reverse program is changing and here is how okay so currently you can redeem points at a rate of 100 points per one dollar for a cash reward or for travel redemption so right now it doesn't make uh, it doesn't make any difference whether you're redeeming for cash rewards or travel rewards you're still getting uh, one dollar per 100 points which comes to a two percent flat return on everything because this card gives you two points per dollar spent uh, however going forward points will be redeemed for cash reward at the rate of 120 points per one dollar for example 1200 points equal uh 100 so what what this means that if you are redeeming cash viewers then instead of 100 points per one dollar you will require 120 points per one dollar so if you do the math it comes to 1.67 percent return on this card which i wrote down right here so from two percent this card is devaluing to 1.67%, which is a brutal uh, devaluation. And just not only that, the annual fee is going to be uh, a 35% increase as well. 
so it's kind of like you know double edge sword devaluation so this is totally uh, you know not acceptable for most of the MBNA viewers world elite mastercard so let, let's see what else they have to say so currently a minimum 5,000 points is required to obtain a cash rewards and going forward you would require a minimum of 6,000 points to redeem for cash so they are also changing the minimum points uh, requirement to do cash redemption from uh, 6,000 I'm sorry from 5,000 to 6,000 points so that's another bad thing uh, let's uh, take a look on the back of the letter okay so here's what stays the same you'll continue to earn two MBNA rewards points for every one dollar which you already know the amount of points reward for uh, required for redeem uh, for travel will stay the same 100 points to redeem for one dollar in travel redemption so what they're doing here is that they're not uh, devaluing uh, the travel redemption requirement so if you're redeeming uh, these points for travel purposes then you're going to get still two percent flat return but most of the credit card owners who are holding this card actually they were holding it as a cash break they were not holding it as a travel reverse card so uh, this is not going to this is only this would only apply to a very few of uh, the card holders uh, but if you are using this card only for travel purposes or travel redemptions then it's not going through devaluation except the annual fee increase which is a 30 uh, let me just flip it again 35% uh, from $89 to $120 so even let's say if you are only redeeming for travel uh, purposes, you may want to think twice paying $120 instead of uh, $89. So let's say let's see what we have here. My merchandise and gift options will remain uh, uh, as indicated. Okay, we don't need that. Insurance coverage is not changing. This card doesn't provide you know not many insurances anyway, so it doesn't you know it wouldn't uh, matter. And your credit card account will, uh, number will remain the same. Uh, we know that. And there's no change to any regularly recurring bill payment set up on your account, uh, which is common sense, and other terms and conditions. Okay, so they're actually giving you an option here. They know that you know when uh, this card is going through devaluation, a lot of people do not want to stay in this program and want to keep this MBNA reverse world elite mastercard so they're giving actually an option to uh, redeem for cash rewards uh, at the current rate which is two percent or 100 points per dollar of uh, until uh, let's take a look here you may redeem your existing points for cash rewards until the MNA Rewards program changes take effect on February 19. In fact, from September 1, 2018 to January 31st, 2019, you will temporarily waive the minimum points uh, needed for cash rewards from 5,000 to 1,000. Okay, so these are right here. So they know that lots of people will leave this card and you know cancel this card. So they are going to be giving you the same rate of return, which is 2% uh, until February 1, 2019. And not only that, uh, instead of like, you know, waiting to redeem for $5,000, which is the minimum requirement right now, they're lowering it to 1,000 MBNA points uh, until that time. So they are doing this because they already know that, you know, uh, people are not going to stay to this card and they'll cancel and get out of this card but what i don't, don't understand is that you know if they know so much why they don't want to like you know uh, make this card more attractive not devaluing or even adding more features so it looks like you know they don't care that you know uh, they don't want to stay in business or they don't care whether how many people are signing up for this card uh, because uh, it looks like to me that td is you know is not doesn't worry about like you know it's credit card uh, section of business or credit card business business probably TD is concentrating on somewhere else so that's why TD is like you know devaluing and cutting benefits for all credit cards one by one uh, and MBN is the credit cards department which has gone through the most brutal devaluation not just for this card for all other MBN credit cards and they're becoming less attractive because the, they're losing features you know they're losing insurance benefits 
uh, they're increasing uh, annual fees. So everything is a negative for M or all MBNA or most of the MBNA cards. So it looks like to me TD doesn't care about this card or other TD cards, TD credit cards anymore. Okay, so now that's the part uh, about MBNA Reverse World Elite MasterCard. Now, like most other customers, you may not want to hold on to this card after the devaluation date, so which is Sept uh, February 1, two, uh, 2019. Now, if you're thinking what other credit cards out there which would give you very similar you know, rate of return, then I'm going to show you a few cards, a few alternative uh, cards that can give you uh, the same uh, rate of returns or even better rate of returns. So just give me a second, let me get my laptop here. Okay, so here I have put through some Canadian credit cards which gives you cash back, uh, which are better than MBNA and which has very similar or better reverse structure than MBNA. So if you're considering uh, to switch, here are four options I have. There are more options, uh, but I'm just like you know, giving only four options because I don't wanna uh, go through, uh, give you too many options to confuse you. So these four credit cards are very good to, uh, you know, take a look at and you can choose from one of these if you'd like. And again, uh, I'd like to clarify myself that I do not do any paid or affiliated review or affiliated recommendations. So all my credit card uh, reviews and uh, videos are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. Unlike other Canadian websites, like I would say 99%, uh, you know, who are reviewing credit cards or giving a recommendation, those are actually affiliated credit card uh, uh, reviews. So they're working for the credit card companies and they're making money off you because they're giving you a link to sign up under each of their articles. So whenever you're, you know, reading those articles and uh, signing up using their links, they make money and they get, uh, so they're not going to give you honest recommendations because it's uh, in their best interest to, you know, try to make you sign up for those credit cards they're recommending. But here on my channel or on my website, amitdown.com, all the links, all the reviews, everything is non-affiliated and unbiased. So I do not give any affiliated links, I do not make any money, and I do not work for the credit card company, I work for you to give you the honest uh, opinions. So these are my four recommendations. So the first card which comes very close to the MBNA World's Elite Mastercard is the Simply Cash preferred card for American Express. So now this card has $99 annual fee, and it gives you a 2% uh, flat return on everything so let me just take a look here so if you see right here earn two percent cash back on everything but for the first uh, six months you'd get five percent cash back so i'm not going to count on that because that's just temporarily five, for five months but after that you'd earn two percent cash back on everything and the annual fee is 99 percent and there is i believe there's no uh, you know uh, no limit on what kind of, uh, there's no limit on how much cash you can earn. So it's, which is right here. And it has actually more insurances than the MBNA World Elite MasterCard, which are right here. So this is a very good card you can uh, uh, look at instead of the MBNA World Elite MasterCard. Now the second card I have here is the Scotia Momentum uh, Visa Infinite uh, credit card. So this card has, let's look at the annual fee which is $99 and it's giving you 4% uh, cash back on gas and groceries and then it's giving you 2% uh, cash back on pharmacy purchases and 2% on recurring uh, bill payments and then you would earn 1% on everything else and this card actually is packed with insurance and stuff and it's a Visa Infinite Series card so you'd get the Visa Infinite Concierge uh, benefit and it has actually lots of insurances. So this is another card you can look at, Scotia Momentum Visa Infinite. Now I have a free uh, cashback credit card, which is the Rogers World Elite MasterCard. It has 1.75% uh, cashback on all eligible purchases. But if you buy something from Rogers, then you get 2% cashback. And if you're buying in foreign currency, then you get 4% cashback. For general day-to-day -day transactions, you're going to get 1.75% cashback. So which is a very good cashback, given the fact that there's no annual fee. So this card has no annual fee. It's a World Series MasterCard, 
minimum income requirements is 80,000 or 150,000 annual or 80,000 personal so it has a higher minimum income requirement but it's a very good card for a no annual fee with 1.75% cashback on everything and this card actually has some other benefit as, as well it even has travel insurances for example trip interruption trip trip cancellation emergency medical and the good thing is this has no annual fee so I don't think there's any other Canadian card credit card which gives you these travel insurances without a new annual fee so this is another card you can take a look at Rogers World Elite Massacre and the last card I have here is the Tangerine uh, money back credit card so this credit card actually gives you a uh, 2% cashback on uh, two categories but you will get another category for 2% if you uh, uh, if you deposit your rewards into a Tangerine savings account so 2% for everyone else but if you have a Tangerine bank account and you deposit your cash back then you're gonna get three categories in which you can earn 2% and the problem with this card is that all other uh, everything else is only half percent cash back so if you have this card I would avoid this card for other purchases except these 2% categories so this is another car card you can t take a look at Tangerine money back credit card so that's all for today if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and uh, there will be more credit card and travel videos coming up so I'll see you shortly and hopefully you will find your right card and on this channel there are lots of credit card reviews and unbiased opinions so just you know if this uh, article is not enough for you just go through the credit card uh, section and then uh, see all other reviews and what other cards out there available for you thank you goodbye for now